Hey guys, Leif here from iTech. Today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the latest Konica Minolta Universal Printer Driver. There is now a version 4 available and I'm going to show you how that looks because it's completely revamped and it's got a, uh, a new look and feel to it. So I've already got this installed so I'm just going to go to print my document. I'm going to select Select the uh, new printer or new printer driver, and uh, I think I've got that here. I've got a couple of them here. I'm going to select the C250i. Just note that this is the universal one, so that'll work with any of the current Konica Minolta models. We're going to go into printer properties, and as you can see here, the printer property screen uh, looks completely. Uh, New and revamped. If you're familiar to properties in previous versions, you'll see that this is different. So I'm just going to show you a few things on here. Uh, you, uh, on the previous model, you would have all the tabs across the top here. Uh, there's still a My tab, that uh, same as before, and you can customize this to add all the frequently used settings that you are likely to use. So any of these functions on here, they can be, you can remove options and add new ones as you see fit. And um, if I click on this section here, all tab, you can then see the same, it's kind of familiar with these names. They're the same tabs as you would have in previous versions with a new look. So if I click on the basic, tab you can see that kind of expands up and you can see all the options under that tab layout and so on you can expand each one as you go along just one thing to note to uh, get started and make sure that it's all installed properly if i expand out this other tab the last one down there is a device settings on here so when you install a universal driver you want to make sure that uh, uh, all the settings, the correct model is detected and whether you have paper trace and booklet finisher and so on uh, uh, on there. So when I hit device settings, I'm going to tick yes to this one and it'll bring up another window. So yes to that. And in most cases, this will all happen automatically. Uh, the If I click on this obtain device information and hit yes, you can see it will then do a refresh and query the printer for all these options. And you can see that it's grayed out here. But in this case, my model is a C250i. I've got the paper source unit, uh, so extra paper tray. I've also got a finisher and a saddle kit and so on, which uh, is needed to make sure you get all the printing options. If, you, if this doesn't work automatically, you can click on obtain settings and you can turn the automatic retrieval setting off. If I do that, I can then add them and adjust manually. You see these are no, not grayed out anymore. I can then select my options manually. So I'm just going to set that all back to auto in this case. And hit OK. And now when I go back into the printer properties, I'm just going to go through the, the basic functions again. Uh, you, again, on the My tab, you can select number of copies, color or grayscale, single or double sided, whether it's portrait or landscape. Select paper size and paper trays. So you can see I've got tray one, two, three, or bypass tray available. What the paper type is, uh, whether you want to save the document in the user box or print it that's available there or of course the if you want to do a secure print for confidential documents you can select that as well and uh, we've also got the staple and st center staple and fold on this one because i have that available as an option and if uh, you wanted to add more options on there or if I say that uh, there's some things that I don't really care about 
that I would like to remove off this menu, you can hit the settings, the, the wheel uh, icon there to edit the tab. So if I click on there, uh, you see you get all these crosses if you want to remove something or I can go into the all tabs. I can expand out any of these tabs and I can then hit the add item there if there was any of these options I wanted to, to add. And that's pretty much it. There's also a favorite tab on the side here. Um, I'll just click on that icon again to go back to the default settings. But the favorite settings, if you had any particular uh, type uh, print jobs that you do on a regular basis that uh, require settings to uh, change, you can add that as a favorite uh, on this side. And that's it. That's a quick uh, uh, guide on the new universal version for Conic Minolta Driver.